All right, now that we've checked our calipers, we know they're good to go. Let's learn how to actually read the scale here. So let me zoom out here a little bit. So we've got our calipers. And remember when I look at this, when I open up my calipers, this outer dimension, this inner dimension, and this depth right here are all the exact same. And they will all be whatever this says on the scale right here. So when it comes time to read it, what you do is you look at where these zero lines cross up. So let's zoom in a little bit further here. So let's pick, uh, well, first of all, let's look at this scale right here. So just like our rulers, when I pick this up, I see inches is on one side, I see centimeters is on both is on the other side. So this these calipers will do both metric and imperial. The metric scale is on the bottom. The imperial scale is on the top. Top is in inches. If you read the scale, you see the one, two, three, four, five, six inches. If you look at the bottom, you see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 centimeters. Now, just like the ruler, this 13, 14, 15, that's centimeters. Every little tiny one right here along the way is millimeters. So that's 13 centimeters or 130 millimeters. Right there, that's 131, 132, 133, 134, 135 centimeters. All right, exact same as ruler. The top scale, this is in sixteenths of an inch. Your calipers are also in sixteenths of an inch. If you look at yours also, your calipers will say 1 28th of an inch or down at the bottom it says 0 0.05 millimeters. That means that these calipers, you can measure down to 1 128th of an inch, or you can measure 0 0.05 millimeters, which is super duper tiny. All right. A 0.5 pencil is 0.5 millimeters. This is 1 tenth of that. We are not gonna get that small for this class. For the sake of this class, we're going to go to the nearest millimeter and the nearest sixteenth of an inch. But these will do more accurate than that. So looking at the scale right here, and the way you read this is you're going to look at wherever this zero on this top part lines up with the scale there. So actually let me I can do this. So this part right here of your calipers. Let's see if I can do this. Eh, nope. I don't know how weather men do this. And weather women. I'll get it. I'm going to waste your time trying to figure this out. Anyway, you get the right there-ish. All right, so that part right there that we're looking at, that's the part that slides. So when we're taking our measurement, this is the line we're gonna look at for inches. This is the line we're gonna look at for millimeters. So when that lines up with our scale, we see this one right here, so let's take this. So where this zero is lining up with that one, that means that is exactly one inch, All right? So if I moved it up a little bit, let's say right there. So where this zero line, where this zero line up here looking at inches is lining up with that line right there on the scale, that is one and one, two, three, 
four sixteenths. So one and four sixteenths is one and one quarter. Right. So moving it over where that zero lines up with that two, that's two inches. All right. Right there would be two and a half. All right. So where you're gonna line this zero up to the nearest sixteenth. There are these other lines right here. Do not worry about that for this class. That's just getting more accuracy. We're only going to the nearest sixteenth. Okay. Similarly, on the bottom scale, where this zero line lines up is how many millimeters. Just remember every one of these is a millimeter. So looking at where this zero line lines up, so where the line on the bottom scale, the slider lines up on the scale. So I have 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63 millimeters. All right. So moving it down. Right there, 50 millimeters or five centimeters. And I can come down And I can see that one inch is a little more than 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 millimeters, all right? So again, we can ignore the rest of the numbers on this scale. We can pretend those don't even exist. You know, you could just pretend that that wasn't there pretend that these things aren't there and that you only have this zero line right here. Same for the top. Just pretend that these aren't even here and you only have that zero line right there. Big couple big mistakes that everyone's going to make. Measure from the zero line. Just like reading a ruler, you don't measure from the very edge, you measure from that zero line. Do not measure from this edge right here. You're gonna get the wrong answer. Do not measure from this edge right here. You're gonna get the wrong answer. Because when I close this all the way, sorry. When I close this all the way, it's gonna line up with the zero. All right, so that's closed completely. That's closed completely, and I'm at zero, zero. You'll notice this edge is below zero. There's no such thing as measuring negative numbers. All right, so that's mistake number one. So always measure from the zero line. Mistake number two, you will see this little gap right here. If you look at your calipers, you have a little gap right there, all right? When you're measuring things, make sure you are not measuring in that gap right there. You're measuring from this bottom part right here. So if I'm measuring, let's pop over my camera. So when I'm measuring, I'm measuring from the actual jaws of the calipers, not from that little gap right there. All right. If I measure from that gap, I'm going to get the wrong answer. Right. So those are the two big mistakes. So looking at your calipers, always measure from this part right here where the jaws are actually closed. And the same for the top. Never in this little gap, never in this little gap, and always line up with that zero line. All right. So let's get a couple of practice things doing this here. So I'm going to measure some things, and because you can't really see it too well, I'm going to also put it on the screen with my little digital one right there. So let's grab a new Lego. Let's grab our Let's grab our, our two by four that we did before. This one right here. 
Now this time, we already know our answers in Imperial. So let's do something different. Let's measure them in millimeters. So we've got our two by four right here. And I'm gonna make it larger. Got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so let's measure this long dimension right here in millimeters. So I'm going to take my calipers, I'm going to hold it into there, and I'm going to read right here where that zero line lines up with my scale. So I know you can't see that too well, this camera doesn't zoom in, so I'm going to pull out my fancy calipers right here and pretend that these are them. So it's going to look, so I'm looking at this and yours should look something like that. So looking at so we're doing millimeters right minute right now. So millimeters. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, bear with me. All right. So in millimeters, we're looking at where this zero line crosses right here. So you see, it's a slightly above what? So what answer did you get right there? What is it closest to? It's closest to this one right here. So if it was, I'll figure this out someday. If it was like right there, what would that answer be? So again, we're going to go to the closest number, closest millimeter this time. So that is three centimeters, which makes that 31 millimeters. Right. So it's closest to 31 millimeters. So I'm going to write that down. That that is 31 millimeters. Again, I know it's slightly more, but we're going to go to the nearest millimeter especially in this whole distance learning thing. Now we need our width right here. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna use my calipers. Everyone do this also. I'm gonna bring it here and I'm gonna look at that. And what that's gonna look like for you is about So it's probably going to look about like that. So looking at your calipers. So where this zero line on millimeters lines up is just above what? just above 15 millimeters. Now for this class, if you said 15, I'd give you credit for that. If you said 16, I'd give you credit for that. You know, all things considered, as long as you got 15 or 16 on that, you're gonna get credit for that answer, all right? If you got 12, that's probably wrong, all right? so. So that is that one right there. Now let's flip it on the side and look at the heights. So if I flip this on the side right here, if I draw this for you, so I can look at two things. Again, don't draw on your desk. This is my desk, I can do it. So I'm looking at the side and I know from this way, 
I know that that dimension is already that one. That's already 31. 31 what? 31 millimeters. Alright. So let's get the height. And I got my four pips right there, my four studs. So let's get this height first. And then let's get this height second. So first, without the stud, I'm looking at it. And so I'm gonna hold it as best I can in between those jaws right there of those calipers without getting that stud on there. And I'm gonna look at it. And yours should look something that. So where that zero line lines up, let's make that bigger because we don't need that stuff. So where that zero line lines up is just about the nine millimeters is what I got. It's slightly over nine, so I'm going to call that nine millimeters. And then with the stud, with that right there on the top, so I'm going to take my calipers, I'm going to get that top part also, and I see that that is what? What did you all get for that? Slightly above so I got about about right there is is what I got on mine which I would call zero lining up right there with 11 all right so now I've got on my drawing here I've got my length I've got my width I've got my height I can draw a very nice accurate representation of all the dimensions of my little two by two block here, right here. All right. So let's do one more quick little practice here. So let us pull out your uh, rainbow unicorn teacup that I know you have. And so let's get the outer dimension here. So it looks like that on mine, so I'm just getting it. Remember, I'm not putting it into those two little grooves right there because it's going to be the wrong answer. And on mine, I've got this. So on mine, it's going to look... I'm opening up the jaws, and it is right... There. So, right here, what is that lining up with right here on my scale? When I look at my the outer diameter of my rainbow unicorn teacup. So I got 88. Outer diameter. All right. For my inner diameter, remember I used this one for my inner diameter right here. So the inner diameter of that top of my rainbow unicorn teacup is right there. So that is on here and let me know if this computer thing is helping out we're trying the best we can with what we got 
give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if the computer thing is helpful. Because I know this distance learning thing is a little bit bonkers. So I got right there, if I'm reading my scale, where does that zero line up with? in millimeters. I got 28. And then, let's see, the other one I told you you can get, you can get the outer, you can get the inner, and this one gets what? What does this one get? So measuring the depth of my rainbow unicorn teacup on the inside. I'm going to extend that until it hits the bottom. So let's you can just put it all the way out and pull this shut. So I can pull this out here because I know that this equals that equals that. So all three of those line up and I get Where that zero line lines up is... Right there. So what does that zero line line up with on our centimeters, millimeter scale? In millimeters, that is... 60, 61, 62, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69 millimeters. And that is our Rainbow Unicorn teacup. Ta-da!